Hello everyone, it's Ms Redmond here. Welcome to the second lesson in the reproduction topic. This one is called How are human reproductive systems adapted to their function? And it's all about uh, reproductive systems in humans. If you haven't got one already, please go and grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper so that you can take notes as we go through. Here are the success criteria for this lesson, so feel free to pause the video and write those down. So sexual intercourse is where a male and a female have sex. The male places his penis into the female's vagina and you've got a diagram cross section there. So gametes, egg and sperm cells. Gametes means sex cell. So the female sex cells are egg cells. They're the female gametes. That's the big one in the middle. And the male gametes are called sperm cells. They're the smaller ones around the outside. And you can see from this um, picture, which is actually a photo taken down a very high powered microscope, how much bigger the egg cell is than the sperm. This is an overview of the female reproductive system. Feel free to pause the video and make notes of these key words or even draw out the diagram if you want to. We'll go into a little bit more detail on the next slide. Ovaries and oviducts. The ovaries contain egg cells, the female gametes, and the oviducts carry the egg cells to the uterus. Sometimes you'll see oviducts referred to as fallopian tubes. So this is the ovary. Um, it's sort of anchored to the side of the uterus. You can see that better on the larger diagram. And then the oviduct, duct just means tube. So oviduct is the tube that carries the eggs from the ovary to the uterus and you can see a magnification of that here so it's really interesting the oviduct isn't actually sort of attached onto the ovary it kind of wafts around the ovary and then when an egg cell is ready to be released the oviduct sort of gets into position and catches that egg and it carries the egg cell the female gamete down to the uterus and it does that by flicking it along with tiny hairs called cilia. <laughs> uterus and cervix. The uterus is where the fetus develops during gestation. So it's this triangular part on the diagram and then the cervix is the ring of muscle at the entrance to the uterus and it keeps the fetus in place during gestation. So there's the cervix on that diagram, there's the cervix on the other diagram, and the uterus is the triangular um, organ there. Vagina, bladder and urethra. So the vagina receives semen during sexual intercourse, and it's this part here. So that's the tube, essentially, where the penis gets inserted. The bladder stores urine until it can be released and the urethra carries urine out of the body. So these aren't really part of the reproductive system in females, but they're in the same region. So we talk about them at this point. Um, so here's a diagram of the female body. This is the bladder here sitting in front of the uterus, which is behind it. And then the urethra is just the tube that carries the urine out. Um, here's a magnified view of that. So this is the bladder sitting in front and then you've got the uterus with the two oviducts uh, and the ovaries behind. And then the urethra again carries the urine out of the body. Male reproductive system. This is an overview. So feel free to pause, write down the keywords, copy the diagrams if you wish. We'll go into more detail now. So scrotum and testes. The testes produce male sex hormones and sperm, which are the male gametes. And the scrotum is the bag of skin which contains the testes. So here's the diagram. This is the testy. And then the scrotum is the skin around it. It's quite important that the testes sit inside the scrotum because sperm can't tolerate uh, body temperature. They need to be a little bit cooler. So that's why the scrotum is there. So the testes can sort of hang outside the body. The glands, semen and sperm ducts. So the glands make semen. Semen is the liquid made by the glands that helps keep the sperm alive. So when a male ejaculates, most of that fluid 
is actually semen, not sperm. Sperm cells are tiny, absolutely tiny, um, and they need that fluid there to keep them alive and nourish them while they are swimming around uh, towards the egg. And then the sperm duct carries the sperm from the testes to the urethra. So you've got the testes down here on the diagram, and the sperm duct is going to carry the sperm all the way up here until it gets near to the glands and then the semen and the sperm go into the urethra and it's the urethra that carries the sperm and the semen out of the penis. So that's the glands there on the diagram. Right, penis, bladder and urethra. The penis carries urine and semen out of the body. So on the diagram, the penis is down here. Um, that's the part that gets inserted into the vagina during sexual intercourse. The bladder, same as in females, stores urine until it can be released. And the urethra is what carries the urine out, um, out of the body through the penis. In males, the urethra is part of the reproductive system because it carries the semen, which contains the sperm. All right. Um, so that's different to females because in females, there's no reproductive function to the urethra. It just carries urine. In males, it's got the dual function that it also carries uh, semen with sperm in it. Okay, summary keywords part one. There's a lot of new keywords in this lesson. Sexual intercourse is having sex where the male places their penis into the vagina of the female. Urethra carries urine out of the body. In males, it also carries the semen. Egg cells are the female gametes. Sex, uh, sperm cells are the male gametes. Okay, summary part two. The ovaries contain egg cells, the female gametes. Oviducts carry the egg cells to the uterus and they're sometimes called fallopian tubes. Uterus is where the fetus develops during gestation. The cervix is the ring of muscle at the entrance to the uterus, and it keeps the fetus in place during gestation, which we also call pregnancy in humans. Vagina receives semen during sexual intercourse. Testes produce the male sex hormones and sperm, which are the male gametes. The scrotum is the bag of skin which contains the testes. Semen is the liquid made by the glands that help keep the sperm alive. Sperm ducts carry the sperm from the testes to the urethra and the penis carries urine and semen out of the body. Thank you very much for listening. I will speak to you next time.